Hey YouTube, welcome back to Luke's Amateur Hour. Today, we're gonna take apart my old blender. Now, uh, what happened to this guy is, uh, it doesn't really work all that great. You can see I got the on button on here and this thing doesn't really work here. Ice crusher off. Off doesn't even stop it. Power burst. Power burst makes this thing run. So I'm guessing that there's something wrong with the potentiometer and maybe a couple internal switches or something like that um, on the inside that keep almost all of the knobs and switches here from working. Um, the reason I'm taking it down is because this, this little sprocket, I guess, whatever, this is supposed to be attached to the pitcher. Uh, however, it is completely burnt out. There's just nothing on the pitcher side to connect it to. I looked at it to see if I could maybe super glue it back to get, uh, don't trust it at that RPM. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and take this apart. <clears throat> Caution first is unplugger, turn it over. And for the teardown, <clears throat> I already looked at it to s figure out how to get into it, but for the teardown, I'm going to use my fancy new German screwdrivers and stuff that I got uh, in my other video. I'm also enjoying Trogue's Rugged Trail. It's a, uh, a nut brown ale, I guess. Apparently, you have to be at the brewery in order to get it. I was there earlier this week, so decided to go ahead and pick up a six pack. Usually I'd get a case of their weird stuff, um, but in this case, in this scenario, I wasn't sure if I'd like it. There's some nut brown ales I like, some I don't. So figured I'd err on the side of caution before dropping 48 bucks or whatever it was on a beer, a case of something I might not like. Unfortunately, if I did like it, they only sell it at the, at the brewery, which isn't close to me, but um, so I, it's a good beer. I enjoy it, but I think I made the right decision on buying a, a case of it. So I don't think I'd go through a case of it in the amount of time I want to. I got, I'm missing one of them here. Which one is it? This uh, this Wera screwdriver's got those laser tips, which are pretty nice. Um, I can tell when it's grabbing onto the screw really well. Uh, definitely, I definitely enjoy the tips on this. I'm not sure that the handle's so much my jam, but yeah, I'm not putting it back together anyway. So <clears throat> we can see that uh, here's the motor. Uh, mounted up pretty well. It's got some some bushings on it, so it floats around relatively well. I'd imagine if I yanked on it the right way, it'd come out completely. Um, but I'm not not there yet. So we can see there's a little brain board here, a little circuit board. Try my little Phillips number one on this. See if I can unmount this. I like the Weeha screwdriver too. This that's what this is. Weeha number one. Um, <clears throat> feels pretty good in the hand. I don't know if I like it any more than the Wera, but See, I guess this is one of those cases where that offset screwdriver handle would be useful. There we go. Let's see if we can get this out. So it looks like. Wow, that's about as simple of a brain board as you can get. I mean, there's really not much to it. Make sure I got this on focus here for you guys. This is your potentiometer. This is the switch. That thing's shot. Um, where's my, what direction is up on this? So, this guy? Ah, that there is the, uh, the power burst, right? Right? Did I do that right? Or is this the power burst? This is the power burst. This is the on-off. So oh, this is our on-off here. 
this little doohickey. Might as well take this out too. Really simple setup here. Actually gonna be able to figure out what everything does, I'd imagine. And it looks like it only goes back together one way too, which is nice. <clears throat> All the same screws too. There's your on off. It's just a regular switch. I don't know why you'd put a weird faceplate on there. And then uh, this is, there's a spring in there. Springs, they're pretty poorly mounted, if I'm honest. They're kind of just wedged in there. And then uh, this guy, this way, this way. Yeah, that's about it. Just goes together this way. There's the potentiometer on off. Yeah, there ain't much to it, jeez. I'm really not sure what gave up the ghost on this. I was expecting something to be completely burnt out. Um, doesn't really appear to be that scenario, as far as I can tell here. <clears throat> Connections all look pretty good. Um, I wonder if I can just pull this out. sure what the next step is on this I'll be honest uh, I wonder if I gotta take this snap ring off I don't have snap ring pliers I'd imagine there's a snap ring there that might be holding this guy this back plate no that wouldn't hold the back plate on you know what that snap ring probably is holding everything together I don't have anything in that. This is interesting though. How about this? I can't imagine you'll run into this all that often. I don't know if you can see that very well. Made in France. I got a motor made in France here. That's interesting. Interesting to me. And the other part, the entire thing here, hecho en Mexico, right? Hecho in Mexico, made in Mexico. Right, this was back when Mexico was the China. They made everything for us. With apparently French components. I'd be amazed if these weren't English electronics because of how badly they're working. Um, I don't really see anything on the... You can see we got some... Um, <coughs> excuse me. We got some uh, resistors in here. I don't know the color codes. I'd have to look at them and see if one of them's fried. I'd imagine that's probably the scenario, a resistor's fried. I don't see anything, honestly, that's very obvious. You know, a little capacitor, that doesn't look like it's in bad shape. I really don't know. I don't know, I'll have to get at this with the, I, I don't even know. I'll have to just play around with it, see if I can work it out. Um, because this switch also doesn't really do much of anything. Because even when it's switched off, the thing will work. Um, I'm not really going to plug it in and try it because I'm, you know, touching everything. But, yeah, that's kind of disappointing. I was expecting to see something all smoky and gross. This looks like it's completely normal, honestly. No solder looks really bad or anything like that. I'm kind of shocked. But... Eh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You win some, you lose some. Anyway, this is Luke's uh, Luke's attempt at taking apart a blender. Um, I'm gonna probably pull these connections off and everything, but I'm still not sure how to get this motor out of here. I was really hoping to be able to pry this sucker out. You can always try it. The old persuader way. I'd rather not. Where's my pliers here? And this isn't really doing it either. Oh well. I call that one a failure. 
Um, I might revisit this. I'm going to work on how to figure this out and I'm going to keep this video going or uh, revisit this video. I'm not, I'm not done with this. Something else just fell out of it. Another spring. Yeah, there's no way this thing's going back together now. Yeah, well. All right, well, this is Luke's Amateur Hour. This is Luke being an amateur. It shows you how much of an amateur I am. I mean, this is probably the simplest circuit board you've ever seen. I can't make heads or tails of what's wrong with it. I have to take a look at it a little closer. Um, but thanks for tuning in, YouTube. Uh, if you know what this, what might be wrong with this, drop me a line in the comments. If you like this kind of stuff, hit like and I'll do more of it. Um, if not, hit unlike and I'll do less of it. Whatever. I don't care. Thanks for tuning in, YouTube. This is Luke's Amateur Hour. Have a good night. We were a little premature. I kept looking at this thing. Turns out the top just unscrews using this little flathead here. So I was able to just unscrew as such and boom. We got the motor. This is, there is some gravity in this bad boy. Um, that's kind of what I was hoping to get at here, right? So we got the motor, a uh, little washer on top, nothing special. And then this guy will be able to screw right back on. And now I have a motor that I know works and works well and is made in France. The electronics board, a little goofy. However, I got a feeling that I could just use this switch as an on off and just bypass all of this stuff and this guy will work. So I'm not going to chuck the encasement, I'm not going to chuck either. Um, I'm going to play around with it. I'm going to see if there's any projects I can think of to do something with a motor. I don't know, maybe a garage, eh, uh, something to automatically kill the damn mice in my garage. I don't know. But um, we got it. I'm in like sin. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool motor. Really, really solid. I mean, there's a lot of gravity to it. But glad I was able to finally get into here. Um, relatively straightforward. I'm still bummed out. I don't see what's wrong with any of this. Transistors, and, or I'm sorry, transistors. Jeez, what's wrong with me? It's amateur hour, right? Got a potentiometer here, which might be busted, but I don't know. It doesn't really look it. Um, oop, don't really see a problem with it. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm really not sure. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with it and see if there's uh, see if I can make heads or tails of the circuit, and then figure out what maybe I could short something across and then just get this motor running. But Okay, that's it. Luke's Amateur Hour. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Again, if you like this kind of stuff, hit like and I'll do more of it. Um, if you don't like this stuff, hit dislike and I'll do less of it. Uh, leave me a comment. Give me some ideas on what to do with this. I, I honestly have no idea, but I know she runs and she, she runs fast. So um, if you got a project with a blender motor, uh, I'm all ears. So. Cheers. Have a good night. Thanks again. Thanks for tuning in to Luke's Amateur Hour. This is Luke. I'm an amateur. This one didn't take an hour either. <laughs>